Good evening traders, this is Mark from the Day Trading Room. Um, today was a very interesting day with quite a few um, decent setups in place. So we, rather than doing a regular write-up and uh, screenshot, I thought I'd do a little, um, little video and see how this goes. Um, today was Fed Day, as we know. Um, we had a gap down, we had a, quite a, a large gap down, which is unusual for Fed Day. It was about 88 points. We opened at 10.578 on the YM. Uh, the close was 10.666. Uh, that's not the sort of thing happens on Fed Day. Normally, people are normally um, putting all their uh, cards on the table until uh, they hear what the Fed's got to say. So anyway, we have to deal with that. Um, the hypothesis I had at the open was either a push back up to fill the range. Uh, this dotted uh, red line here is yesterday's low. Um, this is the uh, open. This is the overnight low here, and the white lines are um, just levels of support and resistance that I've drawn in um, by myself. And this thick red line is yesterday's close. And very quickly, the, this white line here is the VWAP. So, uh, yeah, I had two hypotheses for this morning. I was going to either take a long for a push back up to yesterday's low, and then ultimately a push back up to the gap. Or I was going to take a short for a push through uh, the overnight high, which also happened to be the 10600 cash level. And as you know, if you've read a couple of my other posts, that I like to use the cash, the Dow cash, as um, as, a, as a as a guide for for trading the actual YM. Um, if I'm trading directly on the futures, so there were my two hypotheses. I was looking either for a long for a push up for the range fill or a short for a push down to the 10600 and then a pro through. The range we've had at the moment, if I bring in this um, other window here, if I can just get hold of it. Okay, I'll bring this in and just we can just see where the, which, where, where the range is at the moment. Here's the Dow and we've been in really the 10600, 10700 range. We've poked out um, briefly one day and then we we're briefly above it yesterday. Um, but generally we've been in the 10600, 10700 level. So uh, a push down to the 10600 and even through would still keep us in the range. So those were the two two ideas um, that I'd, I'd put on the table. So we opened and uh, four or five minutes went by and nothing much happened. Uh, this little push up above here sucked me in on the long side. I went long. I thought here we go. We're going to uh, now push up onto the uh, to the range field. They've overdone the overnight move. Wasn't to be. It came straight back in, tagged the open. So I ditched it. Took a small loss on that. No big deal, um, and waited to see if there's any more. Um, wait to see if there's something clearer. We then pushed through this little um, level here, went through the low, and um, pushed back again, back up to the open. So now I was thinking, okay, we've taken out, we've got a few shorts in. Now we're going to perhaps push up to this level, and then take out that high. So I was ready to. Um, at, at that point, when we'd, when we'd moved back at this candle here, we'd moved back to the open. I was ready to take either the long or the short. As far as I was concerned, we probed the highs, we probed the lows, once, twice, now the third time, oh, I was going to go with it. Happened to be short, the tape looked good, the volume was the best we've had all day, you know, good signal to get get on with it. Um, ticks were the lowest we've had all day, hit the short, filled about this sort of level. Took it down, we, we paused at the 10600 level, pushed through, I scaled some out, a little scalp trade, don't want to get carried away with it. and. Um, and then we, we on this candle here we pushed through very nicely, um, which 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 gave us um, a lot more meat to the trade. Came down and um, really the weakness was still there. It just kept pushing and put you know the the, the the pullbacks were very small, and it was a case of okay, well I'm not gonna not gonna chase it now for another short. I'd rather wait for a deeper pullback uh, to get short and preferably a, a decent pullback in the ticks as well which is what I did I let this I let this all go without me I was out of the short by about here I let this all happen and continue on um, this was a support level I'd drawn from a while ago um, so it found a bit of, actually did find a bit of support there and we bounced quite heavily but interestingly this 10540 level here a lot of tape resistance there. there was a big seller sitting there as these three candles couldn't get above it which caused the last leg down and as we pushed back up, we almost got to it and we just started pausing. The ticks were just at the level I'd like. After they've been weak, I'd like them to come back to the minus 300 to zero level to look for my level to get short for a retest of the lows. The ticks happened to go to, where did we go to on this? Um, minus 165. 
perfect level for me I, I like that sort of thing to go short so I took a short around there and uh, my stop was quite tight just over here I didn't want to get caught on a, on a complete reversal um, but there was a seller on the tape earlier and he was down back a few ticks lower um, a few minutes later so good little risk reward trade that rolled over nicely as we probed I was looking for a new low we didn't get it we pushed back up so I took it off um, didn't want to hang around there and in actual fact probably the better trade rather than that would have been to look for the double bottom and then for put to push through but what's made me hold back from that long and just take the profits on the short I do quite like double bottom trades but I was aware that actually the S&P had rolled through and had pushed far more than the Dow and it, and it looked a lot lot weaker than the Dow did so that held me back from the, the, the bigger the bigger trade there anyway so we played a couple on the short side and we and we didn't well out of that so now it was time to uh, to sit on our hands I'm not interested in getting involved in the slow counter trend moves summer it's the summer at the moment so generally you've got the situation where uh, it's the first hour and then that's it for the day um, but today obviously being fed day first hour and then it was back to the screens ready for the move at quarter past seven London time so I did nothing throughout this uh, this whole period here and came back and was focused and refreshed ready for the uh, the, the Fed move um, my uh, my strategy during the Fed <coughs> excuse me is to wait for a surprise move one way or another um, wait for it to hold and be sustained at that level wait for a pullback and then enjoy the uh, and then jump onto the move um, either way long or short I don't mind I'm not bothered so I wait for the move I don't get involved in the initial spike in this case it was up could have been down but in this case it was up so for me long activated um, and when I mean long activated it means I'm ready and prepared for a long and all I'm looking for then is a trigger to place the long in this case we had three three good candles up pulled back now this is this is the classic really this is, this is my normal setup would be to buy at this level here the tick pull back to zero and for the re push up but I didn't buy that because I was concerned about this level here I was concerned about being yesterday's low I was concerned that this hadn't put in actually a solid green and it pulled back and I was concerned at the amount of time we were spending around here um, so I didn't get involved in this which was actually the preferred trade but I didn't get involved in it but what we did get was um, the pit audio. I listened to the pit audio, and the number one local came in and started to press short. So it was definitely a case just to wait back, held back. There were obviously a few people stuck looking for new highs, didn't get it. But what happened is we pulled back to here, and I went long here. Now you're going to say, why did I go long here? Yeah, oh, sure, sure, sure. But if we scroll back and we see exactly where this was, look, high of that bar, 10,589. So that was the high of the day. That's been the high of the day all day until here. And where did we stall? 10,588. Absolutely fantastic. Ticks have pushed lower, pulled back to that support level. And another little trick that I like to use on days like this is to get my little 50% tool here. And I can see where the 50% pullback is. And as long as it stays and doesn't go below that 25, 75% level, I'm I'm interested. I'm gonna I'm gonna get involved. So I went long here on the on the actually took the third bar first bar second couldn't pro through the third came lower here and didn't even get interest there that was when I took the long um, my ultimate target my stop was going to be under that 75% level there ultimate target gap fill you've got to look for new highs on trades like this um, these are the ones that you can get a good move on you know the market's been repriced as I like to say in other words you know there's other people involved that perceive it as, as good value at these levels so you've got to try and run it for as much as possible um, happened to be a perfect trade. I took no heat whatsoever on it. Pushed up, did my normal scale out, uh, plus 10 or plus 12, I think, uh, this time, and hold out. Again, I scaled up at this high here. As soon as I saw that double top forming and this candle here, I was out with another batch. Not going to hold on for any longer than that. Um, and then I held on for the gap fill. And now, as it happened, if I bring the cash chart over, you can see the exact point that we tagged was the 10,700. 10,699 gap fill perfect exit absolutely spot on high of the day that's what we're waiting for that's what we got we took our exit and we were done um, and that was it really I did another small trade on the S&P which uh, which was which resulted in, in a scratch I took uh, two points on, on on the first half and I took two point loss on the second I was just looking 
for a bigger push down as we really start to pick up some steam here um, but it wasn't to be and, it went, and we pushed back up and um, it was a scratch trade so busy day some great setups there um, uh, I think the key theme to take away from the day is knowing your levels understand um, where your levels are have them marked on your charts so that you can get these these great entries and exits okay good trading guys